Hit it. Wah, are you mad? Wah, are you mad? Ayy, wah, are you mad? Wah, are you mad? Skirt, skirt. Wah, are you mad? Wah, are you mad? Ayy, wah, are you mad? Wah, are you mad, baby? I came to play. I came to play on today. And uh, we're going to find out why they're mad. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do right now. Right now. Why are they mad? Okay, you have a lot of people here who are mad that you refuse to meet them halfway. Okay, uh, you have energies here who are mad, um, you know, that they're slacking. Um, <laughs> they are slacking and lacking and um, they re they're mad that you refuse to be, um, you know, to pick up their weight. Uh, you refuse to meet them halfway. Um, if this is in regards to relationships here, uh, you have people here who are mad that you are not with that 50-50 movement. Um, you know, uh, that's not how you, that's, you know, what is it? I like the way you move. Do -do -do. You don't like the way people, places and things are moving these days. You are not meeting people halfway. Um, this is the vibe. Okay. Just before we get started, I have to throw that out there. You have people here who are mad that you are not meeting them halfway. If they're not ready to go hard. Um, you're going to go ahead and head home. And, uh, that's why they're mad. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get started. You have energies here who are mad. They have baby daddy issues that you refuse to make your issue here. All right. The first thing that comes to mind, okay, uh, for those of you who do not have children of your own, you have people here who are mad that you may be, you know, that's the bar that you are setting for yourself. You refuse um, to put yourself in a situation um, that was never yours to begin with. Uh, you refuse to pick up the crosses um the karma that ever other people have um created for themselves and in their lives you know if this is definitely in regards to like dating and things like that you refuse to deal with anyone that has children uh that you did not birth or you did not um put out there all right uh others for you you know this is just an energy here where enough is enough you are fed up um, and, or this is going to be an energy where people are just mad that you, um, you know, you are just dodging the BS, any type of BS. It doesn't have to deal with children or anything of that nature. Um, you just refuse to deal with people who have baby mama or baby daddy issues, or they have daddy or mommy issues, any type of issue. You have people here who are mad that you're not making it your issue. You have people here who are mad that you don't have issues. Okay. <laughs> you don't have any serious issues, you know, life changing, life altering, uh, psychological, emotional, mental issues that they themselves have to deal with here. Um, and clearly, uh, they're not able to deal with it. And so you have people here who are mad. It sounds like that they can't bring you down. Um, you know, they are mad that they cannot make you bear the cross that they need to, they, that they need to put on their back. Okay. Um, and this is essentially why they're mad. We live in a time now where it is nothing but chaos um, it's nothing but drama. Um, it's nothing but toxicity. That's how I see it. I'm a realist. I'm not a pessimistic person, um, but I'm a realist here. And we're being real on this channel here. We're being real right now, you and I. Um, and so you got people here who are mad that you're real J-Lo vibes because I'm real. The way you walk, the way you talk, I'm real. And that's why they're mad here. And um, real recognize real. And a lot of these people do not look familiar and they don't seem familiar. They don't even feel familiar, Okay. Um, and this is why they're mad. A lot of people are burdened, um, you know, be, uh, due to the decisions that they have made in their lives. And they are mad that clearly you have made different decisions for yourself. Um, again, just to kind of reiterate, this is not, it's not going to resonate for everybody in terms of children, but it's going to resonate for a lot of people. Others of you, like I said, you just don't have the same issues that they have because you do not make the same decisions that they have made. And this is essentially why they are mad. You have people here that always want to make their problem your problem. And the devil is a lie. And that is why they're mad point blank and period. Okay. Uh, the moment you feel, you know, stagnant, like anything that is stagnant, the moment you feel like anything is a burden, something is heavy. Uh, the moment you feel like somebody is trying to make uh, um, some, you responsible for their actions or the lack thereof. This is why they're mad. And it goes back to what I said in the beginning was people are mad that you refuse to go 50-50. You refuse to meet somebody halfway to their BS. Uh, there's a meme that, you know, when I used to be on social media, there was a meme of this picnic table. And the picnic table was just, it, was, it, was, it wasn't even really a picnic table. It was just, it was, it was broken. It was, it was cracked. It, 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 you know, you, it was all of these things. 
and the meme said this is the table that men and or women want you to bring you know this is the table that men or women um want to bring you to basically you know the term of like what do you bring to the table a lot of people bring to the table broken tables that they can't even stand on and you have a lot of people here who are mad that you are in an era you are in a mindset uh, you are in a reality here um where you are standing on business everybody claims that they're standing on business but the people here that are trying to approach you the people here who are in your life that want you to stand on some type of business uh, they don't even have a table for you to stand on. Their table is broken, busted, and disgusted. And this is why they're mad. A lot of people here want you to build, rebuild, Bob the Builder. You can fix it. Uh, their table that is broke, busted, and disgusted. No. And that's why they're mad. <laughs> that is why they're mad. Shall we continue? We shall. They're... They're mad that it is what it is. They're mad it is what it is. This card uh, for me speaks volumes. It is what it is. This is equivalent to a period dot. Um, why is that? Because when it is what it is, um, you know, you might as well go ahead and insert the serenity prayer. Okay, change the things that you can change. Uh, accept the things that you can't and knowing the difference it looks like you got people here who are mad uh, that you're taking your prayers seriously these days you are applying these prayers that's wisdom for you okay it's not enough to have knowledge you got wisdom now okay because you can differentiate the two all right the thing that these people got going on what's going on yeah, what's going on boo -da -boo 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 -boo. you know what's going on okay it is what it is the Problems that these people have, you can't change, you can't control. Um, and had you been able to change or control them, they wouldn't be in the situations or having the lives that they have, okay? People here are mad that you have learned the difference. Emphasis on the word learned, okay? You've learned. It didn't take you two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. You learned on the first round round one and that was it you got KO'd you got TKO'd and it was you 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 understood the assignment and you have a lot of people here who are mad that that's you understood the assignment mm -hmm. you understood the assignment and now it's it is what it is what can you do about it nothing and you're not going to do anything about it um, for some of you too, I don't know if you're surrounded, okay, Houston, we have you surrounded. You are surrounded a around a lot of people uh, who can't even voice their problems. Have you ever been around people who kind of just, it's like open sentences, you know, they, they go on and on about the problems that they have and they have no solution, none at all, but it's like they'll voice the problems that they have and then it's like a run on sentence, like there's no period to it. It's almost like they want you to come in and be Captain save -a they want you to come in and fix their problems. And a lot of you may have learned that very lesson. Back to the emphasis on learned. You've learned that lesson. You try to give people solutions to their problems before the problem even occurred. You, you try to give preventative maintenance, preventative uh, uh, advice. Okay? And a lot of these people, you know, dusted you off. A lot of these people wrote you off. A lot of these people didn't want to believe you. And now they're mad. This is like a point of no return. Whatever situations you guys are in, you have people here who are mad that it is at a point of no return and you're not returning. You learned your lesson. Trying to return to a situation, people, place, or thing. When it, it it's, it's a done dollar. These are dead situations. These are dead people. These are dead things. A lot of you are at a point of no return and it is what it is. And this is why they're mad. It's, it, it, it really feels like it's like a lot of people here pushed you to the edge. They push you to the edge. You finally jumped off, got kicked off, uh, got voted off, okay? Bullied off, whatever it is. Berated off. And um, free falling, you fell, okay? You, you made it. You made it and you're not coming back. You're not climbing that mountain just to get kicked back off again uh, for people here who do not learn their lessons. They just keep repeating the same thing over and over and this is why they're mad. When it is what it is truly, like that is not, it's, it's, 
it's not even it's 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 like defeat but it's not defeat it's like acceptance you have a lot of people here who are mad that they misconstrued defeat they misconstrued defeat with acceptance and, and it goes back to the serenity prayer you learn to accept the things that you cannot change you can't change these people you can't change them and you got people here who are mad that you uh, are not fighting a, a losing battle trying to make people change trying to make situations change you've accepted things and you got people here who are mad that they now feel defeated it's interesting that people will spend their lives trying to fight change that they need to make um and then use you as a scapegoat when all you've been trying to do is help them be there for them and then you're the bad guy the moment you just accept it. Acceptance is a mf -er, okay? And people are coming to these terms at this time, acceptance. When you can accept what it is as it is, because it is what it is, <laughs> they can't take that. They can't take that. A lot of people will literally avoid making changes that they know they need to make and they know that they should make because it makes them feel important having somebody wasting their time, sitting by the dock of the bay, wasting time, waiting on them to change, okay? Waiting on the world to change John Mayer vibes. They get more attention as, as people, they prefer negative attention. They prefer negative attention because it gives them attention. And so they know if I continue to be negative and toxic, uh, evil, conniving, malicious, if I continue to play dumb, I'll be able to keep this person because they can't accept that I'm doing this on purpose. They can't accept that I don't want to change. Love. But the moment you accept, it's like all of those burdens have just fallen off and it, them, them included. And this is why they're mad. This is exactly why they're mad here, man. They're mad that you're out here styling and profiling here. So looks like some of you are living your best life. Some of you are receiving the best sleep in your lives. Peace. Peace that passes all understanding that these people were not providing you. You had no clarity dealing with these people, places, and things. They were not providing you clarity, nor were they seeking clarity, nor did they want to hear the clarity that you had to give, that you had to offer. And now you just out here styling and profiling. You're doing you, boo-boo, and this is why they're mad. This is another energy, too, with the styling and profiling. It, all, it reminds me of beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, you know, you've let go and ex you've let go of uh, expectations of you, first and foremost. The, this acceptance thing, it goes around the board 360 vibes. You got to accept yourself. And then you got to accept other people. For how they are and who they are just like you have to do for yourself this is essentially why they're mad because one thing i know about life is everything and everyone is a mirror so when you find yourself in a position where you're trying to change someone else or a circumstance that is beyond your control and you accept that it is beyond your control you're able to find peace within yourself because you can you can control and change yourself. A lot of people deflect. A lot of people scapegoat. Uh, it also reminds me of the quote by Fab Fabulous, you know, hating hoes ain't happy and happy hoes ain't hating. For you to accept it is what it is for others, that lets me know that it is what it is for you. And this is why they're mad. It's a lot of people here who are mad that you have found peace within yourself. Uh, they are mad that you have found peace for how everybody else is. You no longer are in an energy where you feel like you need to explain yourself. Um, this is just total. There, there's an emphasis on the word acceptance. And this is why they're mad. Acceptance. You know, this is a Why Are They Mad series, and I usually get riled up, and I may get riled up a little later, but as of right now, I don't feel that. 
I don't feel that coming from, you know, those who I'm channeling for. Now, those on the outside of that, clearly we see why they're mad and we're going to continue to see why they're mad. But I don't feel the need to, like, turn up. <sighs> they're mad that you can lose it all and bounce back. They're mad you can lose it all and bounce back. So uh, this is definitely an energy where you are deleting all that. You're deleting all that S-H-I-T. Delete all that. You're deleting them. You're dropping them. You're canceling them. You're logging off on them. You're hanging up on them. And this is why they're mad. Because a lot of people... Um, they think that they are the, the stars, the sun, the moon. They think that they are God. They think that you are, they think that they are your God. They think that they are your stars. They think the world revolves around them. You know, they didn't think you would ever come to a point where, you know, it's just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm done. I have nothing else to prove. I have nothing else more to give. I have nothing else more to say. And so for you to be willing to lose it all because you know you can bounce back. A lot of people can't take that because they don't understand. They can't fathom that. This is an energy, you know, for me, this is literally facing your fears. Grabbing the bull by the horns. Grabbing your balls by the bootstrap. <laughs> But grab me the balls by the bootstrap. This is a lot of you facing your fears here, man. And this is why they're mad because this very fear they knew about and they were using it against you. And now that you're willing to face them fears, accept them fears, accept you and let it go. This is why they're mad. There's a lot of people here who are bad that they no longer have control over you. You're scared to be alone. And this is why you were tolerating a lot of the BS you was tolerating. Well, now you're going to go ahead and be alone. And now what? Mm -hmm. Now what? So many different examples that I can give, but this is essentially why they're mad. Being alone, being broke, being successful even. Scared of being successful. And so you have people, places, and things um in your way subconsciously well now a lot of you are very conscious and this is why they're mad scared of success and so you put people in your life subconsciously as barriers so that you can't reach that success so you have someone else to blame no more and this is why they're mad whatever the situation is a lot of people here who are mad that you are willing to lose it all if that is what needs to be if that's the debt that needs to be paid for you to release these burdens um, that these people come with, um, these trials and tribulations that these people come with, you have no problem on letting the bridge burn, uh, allowing the water under the bridge, whatever. And this is why they're mad. In order for you to even fathom being willing to lose it all just so you can bounce back, that is a strength that many people will never, ever, ever understand or yield. This reminds me of people who think that not crying makes you strong. No, that you not crying or being able to show emotion or being vulnerable makes you weak. It's a lot of people here who have things all the way effed up. This is like an energy of men who are scared to wear pink because it thinks they think that that's a threat to their masculinity when they have that all the way effed up. This is a lot of people who have misconstrued ideas about what is and what is not. And you have people here mad that it is what it is <laughs> for you. While they're so busy trying to draw lines in the sand and put things in categories based off of somebody else's thoughts, based off of society, based off of what someone else is doing, what somebody else believes, for you, it's, it's, it's all free game. It is what it is. Freedom of the mind, of the soul, and of the body here. And this is why they're mad. 
It's something about living your life for you. It's something about looking how you want to look, talking how you want to talk, doing what you want to do. Feeling how you need to feel. You got people here who are mad that you ain't with the buffoolery. This is another level from the effery. You got people here who are mad that you are not with the buffoolery. The buffoolery reminds me of some baboons. <laughs> and this is why they're mad. You're no longer playing monkey in the middle. You're not, you're not tolerating the buffoolery anymore. Okay, you left the circus. You, you did, you evolved. You evolved like they say we did. We evolved from the monkeys. You evolved. That's what it sounds like to me. And this is why they're mad. You've evolved. You've ascended. Mm -hmm. You've leveled up. Mm -hmm. And this is why they're mad. This is why they're mad. They're also mad that you won't give head. <laughs> Risky business. Somebody's also mad that back then they didn't want you and now you don't want them. It's amazing how whenever you have a level up and you have an evolution because you had a resolution. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden, they're mad about it. They're mad about it here. They didn't want you back then. And that should speak volumes for you. Because back then, a lot of you were tolerating a lot of these people's issues. A lot of you were settling. A lot of you were insecure and fearful. A lot of you needed somebody to tell you what it is and what it's not and put you and put things in categories and have you uh, 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 conditioned. A lot of you were fooling with a lot of you were dealing with the buffoolery. You were the little monkey in the middle. And now they're mad that you are none of these things after you have leveled up, after you have accepted yourself. Somebody's mad you won't give head, risky business. You know, I always wondered. <laughs> I always wondered. Why is it that women would give head? And then proceed to use a condom. Or men will give head and then proceed to use a condom. I never understood that. You might as well just go ahead and do the deed raw. And I'm gonna leave it at that. They're mad that you won't give head because it's risky business. Some of you have uh, gotten smart. Because mm -hmm. what you can, you can easily get, you know, catch something with oral here. Okay, so that to me sounds like a lot of you are getting cautious. A lot of you may have just shut the whole uh, ice cream shop down. Y'all have shut the lollipop stand down. Um, and this is essentially why they're mad here as well. And it's interesting. Yeah, that does feel about right for some of you here. Um, and especially with their mad that back then they didn't want you now. Um, they want you here. It sounds like a lot of you are off limits. Some of you may have been off limits, but a lot of you are off limits. And this is an energy of people here who are mad that they want what they can't have. That should speak volumes to you because think about it. When you were available, open and willing, they didn't want you. That was back then, right? Now that you are not in that headspace, you have evolved. You have leveled up. Now they want you when you're not available, when you're not open and when you're not willing and when you're cautious. Think about it. Think about it. It's very interesting. When you were, when the door was open, I don't know how many doors you had open. They didn't want you when you was throwing it in their face, when it was available. 
But now that it's not, Now they're mad. Sounds like a lot of you are unattainable and unaccessible at this time, and this is why they're mad. But it was all fun and games when you were, though. This alone, this thought process alone should tell you and show you who and what you were dealing with before. A lot of people that play games, a lot of people who are childish, a lot of people who are users, abusers, and narcissistic, and that have issues. Baby mama, baby daddy, mommy or daddy issues. And that may have been one of the fears some of you guys may have had. A lot of you guys will sit there and play these other little games or I'm going to wait 90 days or I'm going to wait until uh, it becomes serious uh, to drop down and get my ego on, girl. These are subconscious games that you're playing because you already know why who and what is there. You already know why they're here. And so you play these subconscious games to make you think that you're doing the right thing or you're being courted or whatever the case was when you already know why they're here. The moment you take that off the table, so we're going back to the table. The moment you take that out the table, off the table, where art thou? Now it's a problem. Or now these people are just non-existent. Back then, when they didn't want me, I used to wear small shirts, small shorts. I wanted to be desired in a sexual manner. And I would still deny it or act oblivious. <laughs> Which is what most people do. The moment I started dressing up, covering myself, all of those people that were just all up on me, lined up at my locker, where they go? Where they at, do? And so for a lot of you, some of you, that was may have been one of the fears that you may have had. And now you grabbing your balls by the bootstraps, ladies too. That to me is going to the edge. That to me is going into the void. That is going into uncharted territory. Doing something you've never done and to see the actual truth. You got a lot of people here who are mad that you are now finally ready to see the truth. Men, same for you. you were, you've been conditioned or just felt expected to spend money to prove that you uh, are interested in a woman or to prove whatever society tells you that you need to do when it comes to money and women or men, whatever you get into. And the moment you stop and fall back, it sounds like you got a lot of people here who are mad you're seeing the true colors on both uh, sides, on both, both spectrums here. A lot of people are mad that you are seeing true colors. The moment you stop doing something that is expected, now, you're seeing the truth and this is why they're mad now you see the buffoolery now you know you can do bad by yourself you're willing to lose all of this all of the games all of the people lined up at your locker um whatever it is you're facing your fears dead on here and this is why they're mad you're facing them and it's interesting because the moment you do that, whatever it is that you were fearing, it's non-existent. I had a whole year, this whole year, my whole 29th year of facing fears and none of my fears came to pass. None of them. And anybody that I lost in that time, we all hear the quotes, they weren't meant to be there from the beginning. And that was very true. And it took me finally going to the edge, like, you know what, let's test it. Let's test the spirit. Let's test the person. Let's test the place. Let's test the thing. Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Is the mic on? And now they're mad because it's on. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's on. Mm-hmm. Somebody's mad you took their man. <laughs> mm 
Uh, is that your man? Is that your that's your woman? Rennie Rucci sips tea. If anybody can take something from you, it was never yours to begin with. And so a lot of you in this era, okay, of acceptance, um, this is obviously drawing people who didn't want you before, didn't see you before, um, didn't care about you before, nor did they value or appreciate you before. Now they want what they can't have. Um, and so now that you have been willing to lose them, now they're willing to lose them. <laughs> that they chose you over or they chose over you. It's a domino effect. This is energy, everyone. Your decisions affect somebody else that you don't even know. Even if you do know them, your decisions affect somebody else. And the moment you face your fears, now other people are facing their fears as well, period. And so when they tell you, you have to change what's in your backyard <laughs> if you want to change the world. Meaning you can only change thyself and you can only change thyself when you know thyself. The moment you have chosen yourself, the moment you spent time with yourself to know yourself, you're forcing other people to do the same. I don't, it doesn't matter if they kicking and screaming, uh, hooting and hollering, in denial about it. At some point, at some point, they going the truth is going to get smacked up in their face just because you're you're living by your truth and so it's going to force everybody else around you to live in their truth as well. You don't have to tolerate buffoolery. You don't have to beg somebody to change. You don't have to argue, scream, who holler, cry, plead. You don't have to be desperate. You don't have to be needy. You don't have to do any of these fucking things. Excuse me. You don't have to play any of these games. And this is why they're mad here. Knowledge is power. And it sounds like a lot of you are powerful as AF at this time. And once you have the power, what do you get? The respect. And this is why they're mad. You have the power and they have no choice but to bow down and give you that respect that they were so gun ho about not giving before, not seeing before, not accepting before, not believing in before. You never needed anybody to crown you. You never needed anybody to love you. You never needed anybody to validate you. You never needed anybody to be with you. You never needed anybody to accept you. And this is why they're mad. This is energy. This is alchemy. And that's what it's all about. Why are they mad? Ooh. Somebody's mad you uh, smoke a little weed. In other words, you be chilling. Somebody's also mad that you don't want marriage with them or at all or in general. Excuse me. Somebody's mad you don't want marriage with them at all or just in general. Okay. So you're out here chilling. Whether you smoke a little weed or you don't, take a, take a hit for me. It's, it's probably been almost a year now. I haven't, you know, haven't fellowshipped um, in those activities. Go ahead and take a hit for me. Um, but you're out here chilling. Again, it is what it is. People are how they are. Life is how it is. And so with a lot of you, you don't want marriage with them at all or just in general. A lot of us are conditioned to live life a certain way. A lot of us are conditioned to want certain things at a certain time. And again, there's an acceptance with this. There's a peace with this. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But this is not something that you're waking up every day, um, making it your mission for this to come to pass. And with that being said, again, a lot of times when people know that there's something that you want, when there's something that you desire, there's something that you need, there's something that you like, this is when the game start playing. It's everywhere around us. The moment, um, you know, going, the moment, this is, this is why inflation exists. This is why supply and demand exists. The moment it is discovered that you want something, you like something, what happens? The prices go up. 
They want to play games. This same dynamic happens in relationships. And now I understand why people go through hell and high waters to try to hide how they feel or lie how, about how they feel uh, or not show any emotions because the moment you do so, this is when people start playing games. Let's play ball! They want to start playing games. And this is why they're mad here because they no longer have a carrot to dangle over your head. And I always said, don't dangle a carrot in my, over my head because I don't even like carrots. I don't even like carrots. Don't do that. That's like, threat. don't threaten me with a good time. This is why people are mad here. They have no carrots to dangle. And they barely got them between their legs to dangle. Um, but I digress here. You have people here who are mad that they don't have any power because you've taken it all back. How did you do that? You faced your fears. You are scared to be alone. So it's going, we're going to go ahead and be alone on today. Mm -hmm. You got addictions. We're going to go ahead and overcome them addictions today. You got enemies? Okay, we gonna be friends on today. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a love you from a agape love on today. I don't even hate you. I don't, I, I don't feel nothing about. I, you, bless your heart. You know, what do y'all like to do? Y'all like to pray for your enemies? Now this is why they're mad here, because now some of you praying for your enemies. You don't have enemies. On today. Facing your fears, um, you're fighting a good fight, you know, it's whatever it is that you are so terrified of that allows you or enables you to deal with a lot of people's BS, you're going to go ahead and get in front of it. So it no longer has power over you. So people no longer have power over you. And this is why they're mad. This is why they're mad. So back to the marriage thing. If a lot of you wanted to be in relationships now, you're just like, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm not chasing it. I'm not chasing it. I'm not going to advertise myself. I'm not going to try to convince you. If you want to leave, then leave. I'm not, I'm not making you stay. Um, you know, I am not going above and beyond. I'm not going 50, 50. Uh, I'm not doing any of these things to, for an outcome that you thought you were, that you thought you wanted. This is just what it is. Um, emphasis again on the word acceptance and it is what it is. That was the one of the main reasons why I had to let go of the marijuana because I didn't like how much control it had over me. Didn't like how much I felt like I needed it. I didn't like how I had to depend on somebody to be there every time I called so I could get it. Didn't like how I felt when I didn't have it. Didn't like how much money I was spending on it. There, there were so many different demons controlling me just in that one habit alone. Scared to be sober because I'm like, I can't take these people. I can't take life. I need, I need something to chill me down. I, I, I'm gonna have to go ahead and I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to deal with life sober now because I refuse to have anything have power over me. And this is why they're mad, man. There's so many things that I can say that I have gone through just in the past year alone. A lot of my fears I had to face. Nothing or no one can hurt me. And this is why these people are mad here because there's nothing or you guys are actively working on it. That's just life, honestly. And truly only the strong survive. I was scared of homelessness this past year. I had to deal with that. Not being it, but I had to, I was on the verge of it. Look at me now. Hey, look at me now. Chris Brown vibes. I was scared of homelessness. That was like my biggest fear. I had to face that. And it didn't come to pass. There's so many other examples that I can give, but it's, that's just life, man. It's the moment you stop wanting the very thing you think you want. It just abolishes 
anybody who was the gatekeeper of that coming to pass for you <laughs> period somebody's mad you found out about a side chick so a lot of this right now coming out is is pertaining to relationships so a lot of you it sounds like um are having a hard time with relationships or these are your subconscious fears here which um you know trigger why you act the way that you act or do the things that you do in said relationships and or to get into one or to maintain one you don't want to find out about a side chick and so you you doing the most some of you may not even be married and yet you acting like you're married you're giving marriage benefits privileges loyalty even love that's not protected doesn't have insurance on it you are giving way more than you are receiving because you're scared of something coming to pass. For somebody or something that's not even worth it here. You know, uh, there was some song I was listening to earlier and he was saying something along the lines of no boss, you, you, no boss can call themselves a boss if they haven't taken a loss. And so for anybody, you're going to have to lose it all to bounce back because that's what bosses do. That's what standing on business is. No boss can consider themselves a boss if they haven't taken a loss. So there's so many different ways I can say this. Level up. You've evolved. But you got people here who are mad that you have bossed up. How'd you boss up? Because you took some losses. Or a lot of you are ready to take them losses. A lot of you are ready to hit them with the full card. You're ready to jump off the damn cliff. Because I'll be damned if somebody pushes me off. I'm going to go ahead and jump off. You ain't going to do you. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump. You're not going to push me, bitch. Don't push me. A lot of people here who are mad that you are taking the initiative. They want to threaten you oh i'm gonna break up with you i'm gonna leave you i'm gonna fire you i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go ahead and fire my damn self i'm gonna go ahead and break up with you i'm gonna go ahead and leave you or go ahead and do it I, it's like you calling people out on their bluff and this is why they're mad do it ain't nothing to it but to do it and this is why they're mad you're calling a lot of people out on their bluff somebody is mad you don't make time for them <laughs> what's time you ain't making time for them because a lot of you are uh contributing that time to yourself you're giving that time to yourself i'm not time i'm busy doing me styling and profile i'm busy living my life how i want to live thinking how i want to think looking how i want to look excuse me doing what i want to do and this is why they're mad You don't have time to play around. You don't have time to F around. You don't have time for the buffoolery. You are not the monkey in the middle anymore. You, it just. Essentially, you just have people here who feel extremely powerless. They're feeling powerless. And you out here acting accordingly. And this is why they're mad. You're acting accordingly. You are standing on business. You are not standing on the tables that have broken in their lives. They never even had a, 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 a solid footing. They never even had a solid table for you. You are standing on business. You are standing on your own table that you built, that you crafted up, that you put together. It's solid. It's solid. And this is why these people are mad because not only are you powerful, not only are you powerful, but you are solid. You're solid. There's nothing that they can do to manipulate you, um, sway you. There's nothing, literally. It's a lot of people here who are mad that you have rendered them powerless. 
you're not doing what they expected you to do you're not going where they expected you to go you have not become who they expected you to become which was usually unbecoming they that's what they expected you don't need them and they thought that you would There's a lot of people here who have counted you out. They counted you out. A lot of you for a lot, the majority of your life, is that, that theme just kept following you throughout your life. People held bent on leaving you out or making you feel less than. And when you're in those type of situations, you have nobody but yourself. What are you else are you gonna do? Who else are you gonna talk to? Who else are you gonna be with? Yourself. And so back to you are solid. You built your own table. You had no choice. Because I had to eat, right? You had to eat. So you got to build your table up. Well, that takes a lot of time. That takes a lot of effort. And you got people here who are now mad that they didn't make time for you. And now you simply don't have time for them. Nor are you making time for them. These are the same people that you would beg for them to make time for you, have time for you. These are the same people. And now you're not making any time. You don't have time. What is time at this point? This is like new phone who this. Uh, time, what is that? Time, huh? Time for who? You too. <laughs> no. Tables have officially turned. I'm telling you right now. They have officially turned and, you know, this is a lot of people here. This is a lot of people that had power. Multiple people that have had power over you. And they don't have it anymore. And so they don't have a life anymore. They don't have a purpose anymore. And then on top of that, you're not coming back around to, to give them or strengthen them or empower them to have. No, you don't want to be around it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to hear about it. You ain't, want, you ain't trying to kick it with them. You ain't trying to smoke with them. Nothing. When they see you in the street, you don't know me. Somebody's mad that you are gifted and you know it. And this is exactly why we finally get into the root of the problem, of their problem. That is no longer your issue. They did all of this because you were gifted. They left you out. They used and abused you. They gaslit you, lied to you, betrayed you, deceived you, chose other people over you in hopes that it would diminish your confidence, your self-worth, your value, how you think and feel about yourself, to make you doubt yourself, doubt your purpose. They've isolated you robbed you beat you all because you're gifted and the worst part of it for them is that now you know it you see it you believe it and this is why they're mad 